Hello, I'm the professor with a bow tie. I'm here to teach you the Greek language and culture and to make you apply the theoretical knowledge of books into your everyday life. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and click the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. Today's video is about the Greek diphthongs or else double vowels because you combine two separate vowels together and pronounce them as one. Two vowels equal one sound. The prerequisite to watch this video is to have watched the video about the Greek alphabet that is up here or here. Okay, so ready, study, learn. So let's start with diphthongs. In Greek, diphthongi. The first one is alpha yota. The name of this is alpha yota. Remember the letter of Greek alphabet, alpha and yota. The pronunciation of this diphthong is e. Look at the Greek word pedi. Pe, p, e. Pedi, child or kid in English. Next is the diphthong epsilon, yota. Epsilon and yota. This one is pronounced like E. For example, the Greek word Idos. E. Two separate vowels, one sound. Idos. Uh, in English, kind. Next diphthong is Omicron Yota. Omicron Yota. This is pronounced like this one, E. Ikogenia. E. Next one is the diphthong U with Omicron and Y together. It is pronounced U like this one in English U Uranos Sky in English. Next one is the diphthong av or af. This one has two pronunciations. De it depends uh, on what word is in. Af or av. For example, αυτός, this one, αφ, okay, and αυγό, egg, another diphthong that has the same uh, function is the diphthong F or F, Epsilon and Y together. This one is Alpha and Y together. Okay, I have uh, just adjusted the camera to see all of them. F or F. F or Ev. Look at the Greek word ευχαριστώ. 
Thank you. In the word ευγενικός This one is pronounced like ev. Ευγενικός. In English it means kind. You are very, you are very kind. Είσαι πολύ ευγενικός. And the last one diphthong is y. This is pronounced like two E's together. E, 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 E. For example, the Greek word Ios. Son, Ios. Okay, the only thing you have to do now is to subscribe to my channel to learn more about the Greek language and the Greek letters and also the Greek history and philosophy in general. So do subscribe, share it with your friends if anyone is interested in Greek language and we see each other in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!